what's going on? It's Mando Crusader, and welcome to episode 13 of Sunless Skies. Last episode, we made a little trip up to Old Tom's Well, um, along with Titana and the Nature Reserve, following through the story of our incautious driver, as well as getting, progressing, I should say, our smuggling career. This episode, I think we are going to head out to Hybris, which is somewhere in this general area. Um, I know this is the entranceway to it, so I figured it'd be prudent to do so, since we need to make a very quick stop at Titana, but also because we do have this quest at Hybris, and... It would be another port report for our Fatalistic Signalman. Um, now, our terror is mildly concerning. It's at 70%. Um, so that is probably going to be a problem. But when has that stopped me before? The answer is never, because I am not cautious in the slightest. Uh, but before we shove off, I just wanted to mention that, hey, if you like my content, uh, why not like the video? Uh, it really helps the channel out. Additionally, subscribe and ring the bell. That helps the channel out immensely. Uh, and comment any other games you want me to play, as well as any feedback you have for my videos. Um, I'm always accepting of feedback, and I also take game requests. So, yeah, with all of the way, I am... Oh, almost, went the one, almost went the wrong way. Uh, I am off to Titana to get a flower cutting for the nature reserve. And then from there, it is onwards to the perilous journey to Hybris. Because, oh boy, that, that pathway is not a fun place to be, let me tell you. Especially when our terror is so high. That is, that is really concerning. <laughs> I should probably stop at New Winchester, but again, I'm not going to, so see you at Titana. Ooh. All right, this is gonna be a very delicate operation. We need to yoink and run. Yoink and run, run. Did we make it? We escaped. It was never in doubt we didn't escape. We haven't escaped yet. We officially have not yet escaped. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay. Um. Uh, oh boy. Uh. Do we jet us? No. We are going to use the rock as cover. And just like that. Just that. Like, Alright. It was never in doubt. Our survival was um, never, ever in doubt. Oh, I should really return to New Winchester. <laughs> But, uh, we're here, we're in Titana. <sighs> oh, we're not going to live. This is the end. This is the end of our captain. Um. Alright. Okay, I thought there may have been a thing that we could have used to, um, get rid of. Of our so a little of our terror, but there is not. <sighs> it's 
So, we're just gonna buy some fuel, buy some supplies. Um, oh, we can't really... Oh, we can't even get the... We can't even get the thing. Until we choose... Alright, well, that makes exploring... Or finding Hybris even more important. So... Oh, no. So... We cannot do anything at Titana until we choose a style. For Titana be rebuilt in... Oh, that Rex looking so tempting, but we cannot stop. There's bees. Oh. Ah. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die right here. Here is where we are going to die. We are alive, and, okay, that settles it. We need to go back to New Winchester. We are making a quick stop there, and we're getting rid of this, of this honey that is causing us so much pain and suffering. <laughs> so I'll see you there. Oh, rumors of a mutiny. Excellent. Well, let's conduct an investigation because I'm not getting, getting another nightmare. Oh my gosh. That 20% chance of success. And we hit it. Justice. Under interrogation, a sallow stoker reveals where the pistol is hidden and who stole it. You seize the culprit and conduct a swift trial. The mutineer spits at you as you condemn her to the skies. We've lost a crew member. But we probably bought ourselves a little time because we are here in New Winchester. Our detour is nearly complete. Just dock and, and look at that terror go down and oh boy repair the hull or Re fully repair the hull lost 75 sovereigns um actually you know what we're not gonna sell any of this we're gonna keep it in our in our hold in case we need it again because we're currently doing good on money. Um, we are, however, going to buy another fuel and supplies. Right. Okay, so we're mildly less terrified. Our hull is full. Now it's time to go off to Hybris. Uh, we're probably going to make a quick stop at Polymer and Plenty's for a port report. But... I will sh I'll show that and but besides that we're heading straight to Hybris all right here we are polymer and plenties very quick stop we aren't going to be doing the circus quest line just yet um, um, actually, you arrive at the circus. Listen to their stories. Yes! That reduces more terror. Excellent. Um, do that. Grab the port report. And how many more do we need for our signaler? Six. And we have... One, two, three, four, five, 
So Hybris will actually be six. So we'll be able to progress the Signaler's story once we find Hybris. Which is pretty cool. So I will see you once we find something interesting or we encounter hostiles again. And I'm, we're sure going to encounter a lot of them up here. This is a very dangerous area we're approaching. Um, oh! A wreck. Oh, don't mind if I do. Um, force open the doors of the hold. A success? What? A slim clasped box. Ministry approved literature. Ow. Nice. So, I believe we need ministry approved literature for, um, the Deathless in the Mausoleum. So, that is a colonized Kentucky. Carry. And we need to kill one. Um. And if it seems slow, it's not, believe me. It just hasn't uh, reached its final form yet. It's about to get real scary. As you can see, it is rapidly shooting more things at a longer range. Um, the thing in the mist, not just keep going, always forward. <laughs> Nothing in that event is worth the amount of anything that it gives you for failing. Hmm. There we go. All right. Swoop in and claim our prize. Um, let's see. Oh. No, this isn't the thing we need. We need to go to Hybris. This is just a thing we find along the way. I forgot. Um, we can still dig under the fungus for some precious stones. Um, sure, why not? I've gained five terror and 76 sovereigns. I do not believe that is a good trade-off. But it's what we got. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the route to Hybris, by the way. It's, uh... It's really fun. One could even say it's fun. It's fun goal. Again, please laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will catch you when we find something. Well, something that I can actually take. We're just gonna scoot right on by you, Mr. Reach Marauder. Ah! This is what we needed. A fungal fragment. Um, in sky suits and spore masks, your crew hauls a porous asteroid aboard. The top half is veiled by a mesh of fungus like minty crinoline. Lichen of all shades cling to the underside of the rock in an iridescent coating. Cut free the fungal crinoline. The, phleg the phlegmatic researcher in the Lead Better and Stain Rod Nature Reserve requested you bring him the lattice. Just grab that. And, oh, right, this. 
Um, oh! The thing on the mantelpiece. You are in possession of a certain otherworldly artifact. It has begun to appear persistently in your dreams. Never prominent, but always present. Set innocuously on a mantelpiece, half hidden in a shadowed corner, carried casually by a loved one. Um, well, we could burn it! <laughs> uh, a more certain approach. This will cost fuel, but your terror will not increase. Um, let's just burn it. You know what? Just, just burn it. The answer to everything. Um, also, this is a thing that exists. Um, Faith's Fall. What remains of the behemoth's carapace is scarred with sigils. Most are marred and broken, some still holding a sullen, resentful power. Your locomotive is stopped on a broad, flat section of the shell. The few sigils nearby are too cracked to risk much harm. Now, we could delve deeper into the body. Now, why would we do that? Why would we spelunk into this otherworldly horror's body, corpse, you may ask? Inside, we have a decent chance of finding the thing that we need to progress the smuggling storyline. However, it would also take all of our supplies, so we're not going to do that. However, we will be able to stock up at Hybris, and we may come back, if our terror allows, because that thing is a horror. Um, speaking of Hybris, uh, didn't mean to do that, it should be just down this way, so... I will catch you when we get there. Alright. Here we are. Just trying to get that experience, because once we get it... No, it was over there. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we can pick a new facet. So, let's see what we have available. A Scandal, Spiriford, a Black Sheep, Below Stairs, or a Lost Love. Um... Let's see. I think we should go Black Sheep. That seems perfect for our character. You never fitted in. You are a piece from another puzzle. You came to revel in your family's disappointment. Their disapproval was a trophy. Their condemnation, a commendation. Why did they resent you? Uh, for your failures, what a disappointment you were, and how often and lengthily they informed you of it. But the things that mattered to them were unimportant to you. You would find your own path. And this will give us some mirrors, which we are desperately lacking. We are... It's our least... Um, uh... Spectin stat. So, we're gonna grab that, take some mirrors, and... Move along to Hybris! A fledgling colony trying to dig its fingernails deep enough into the spongy, fungal fabric of the Reach to cling on when hard times come. It is a sad truth that many more settlements are founded than flourish. Hybris. Nestled amidst sprawling, sporing gardens of fungus, Hybris is a colony of octogenarians. Rotting buildings slough gently into decay. Maintenance is poor. The population aged. An insect speckled with fungus flies past drowsily. Growth asks no license, reads a barely legible sign staked into a collapsed pile of fungal ears. 
Let's see. So, gather a port report. Not much seems to happen in this sleepy place, but perhaps someone will be interested. Life moves slowly here. There are arguments over the rules of bowls and the correct amount of time to steep tea. The station master seems to avoid the villagers. There is an unusual, unique quality to the starlight which filters through the underside of the caps. A venerable welcoming party has gathered. The wizened mayor approaches. His, bent back, his back is bent, but his pace is steady. He has a firm handshake. Welcome to our little hideaway. Watch your step. That one's about to fruit. True enough, the little white sack at your feet suddenly splits. Sneaking tendrils of red fungus explode outwards. The mayoral assistant, a severe woman of slightly less advanced years, guides the mayor to a nearby bench. You may stay as long as you like. Something is changing in Hybris. Right. So, we need to do everything we can here because this isn't going to always be like this. I'm, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but we need to take advantage of this while we have it. But first, we're going to search for Lum Miss Madam? Madam, maybe. Luminaire, Lumiere. A filmmaker should be difficult to miss in this hushed, secluded place. Loud curses lead you towards an elderly woman fiddling with an antiquated camera. She sighs and shuts the frame. That'll do. She offers a trembling hand. Lumiere, once a renowned explorer and filmmaker. Now, as you see... A cough rattles through her. You from New Winchester? I'll leave with you. I can pay my way. I am done here, and my lungs won't tolerate much more of this. She smiles wanly. I have a premiere to plan. Alright, so that should be something when we get back to New Winchester. Um, explore the settlements. Hybris has only a handful of buildings clustered amongst folds of fungus. Yet, life goes on here. Life moves at a slow pace on Hybris. Several colonists tend the allotments, while others sit squabbling outside the Brendan. Periodically, a lady emerges with tea and fungal crackers. A carpenter struggles with the fretwork on the new town hall. The carvings are of factories and faceless workers. I can't remember what they looked like, he says sadly. Take tea at the Brendan. The only lodging house in Hybris, and the only building with more than one story. The smell of stewed tea permeates the dilapidated boards. Cost us five sovereigns. The owner keeps a clean and ordered house. She bakes her tea cakes to perfection and ices them to resemble the fungus that has colonized the windowsills. It's been here longer than us, she laughs as she pours out another round of tea. The tea is sour. The milk has gone off. Wander the wilds of Hybris. Swamp and marsh, fungus and frond. Nowhere in the reach has been so thoroughly colonized. It will be a shame not to see the sights. Fingers of black and red mushroom rise from the sodden ground. Tendrils of white fungus form vast arches. An earthy smell pervades the air and follows you through the swamps like a lost dog. In the middle of a grove of writhing sacks, you find a plinth adorned with broken and twisted nameplates, the shape of colors. Brazabon Workworld has been imprinted on each. Ah, oh, alright. Make a delicate inquiry to the wizened mayor. Everyone here is very old indeed. Is there a lower age limit in, on settling in Hybris? The wizened mayor chuckles. Oh no, we'd welcome youth, but we won't get many settlers coming out this way. We're happily secluded here. He smiles wistfully as, across the marsh, his mayoral assistant chounces an unfortunate at unfort an unfortunate at bowls. Our best years are spent by others. The wizened mayor glances towards the town hall where preparations are being made for a performance. We have plans to hopefully change that though. The colonists are enjoying a second youth on Hybris. So, yeah, what that second youth entails is um, intriguing, to say the least. 
We can trade with the locals. We're gonna grab some supplies so that we can head into that beast. And we're gonna take a little trip down to the south because there's something down here too. Something very important. Something very, very important. Um, it should be just around this corner, in fact. I think it's just around this corner. Um. Oh. No, this is the alternate way out. That you don't need to go past the horror. Um, it's actually back here. Okay, I'll, I'm going to make a very quick cut, and I'll be back when I get to where I'm going. Oh, okay, another one of these things. We're just going to we're just gonna move along and pretend like it doesn't exist. Ah, this is the way I was thinking of. So, right down here... Is... Right over here... Come on, don't make me... Don't make me... Don't make me look bad. It's right here. Right? There it is! The Eleutheria Transit Relay. So yeah, this takes us to Eleutheria. So, we actually can go at any time. Um, we need to buy a transit, a travel permit. Um, that costs eight hundred sovereigns though so you know something casual um however we can go to eletheria just with savage secrets um eletheria is very very dangerous though we're gonna need a lot better stuff than what we have so that's going to be in the future probably like um two or three episodes from now but yeah, this is where we're going to leave this episode off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, remember, leave a like on the video. Uh, also, subscribe and ring the bell. Both those things really help the channel out. Also, um, be sure to leave a comment, any feedback for the channel, or any games you want me to play. I highly value both of those things. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.